Hey guys, it's your human frisk. And uh I was making video earlier. But when I went over it, the audio quality was absolute trash. Not that my quality is ever good. But the music in the game itself was so over bearing against my voice that you couldn't hardly hear me and I figured when I'm you know providing commentary and such it's it's kind of important that you can hear me so yeah this is actually a remade video all in the same day because it had to be done I couldn't leave it that bad not with you guys watching and actually probably wanting my audio quality to get a lot better. I will be working on that. I am wanting to apologize for my audio quality being absolute trash. But really that I have a hard time finding out how to make my audio quality decent in any way on phone so this might just be me on phone and once I learn how to make better quality for sound I will but anyway I know it's been a while since I made a video for you guys and I'm sorry about that actually watch my videos and you don't understand how happy that makes me see that anybody would be interested in any way in any of the things I have to say or any of the things I do but seeing some of you guys you know actually watch makes me feel better about the decision to do YouTube in the first place so for those few of you Thank you. I know it's 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 a very small amount of us, but we're gonna become big. And when I say we, I I mean you guys. You guys are important. I mean, without you, what is the channel? Absolutely nothing. It's just me playing games and them never being seen. You guys are the deciding factor of everything. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the game. So, uh... For any of you guys who play Mobile Legends, feel free to like, go here. I'll show you. It's down where it says online, over by my friends list. At the very bottom, it shows a person and a plus right here. That's the ad friends. Go in, type in, type up my name, and that, that will be me. Which will change, hopefully soon, because I'll be getting uh, my uh, profile picture will be changing. I'll be playing as export for now. He did get a skin a while ago called Blue Storm. It's great. It might have been in my last video, but I don't think so. But I only play his OG skin when I'm in Classic. The only time I play his blue skin is when I'm in rank. Just to show off that I have it. You know, just as an extra flip to be like, hey, 
I'm good enough with this hero that I actually decided it would be worth it to buy the skin. Which doesn't say too much for me anymore because I have characters I'm trash with and have a lot of skins. Moscow. I have all of his skins now, except for one, which is great. And that one skin is because I, it is impossible for me to get it at this point. Which sucks. But, yeah, it happens. Alright. I hope you guys are ready to watch this beastness that is me playing as Xborg. I'm number two in my state. And if you pay very close attention to the video, you'll know that state. Because, you know, I'm going to be like that. But, yeah, uh, I want you guys to let me know if you guys think that I should to start using a face cam whenever I can, till the enemy the if you guys want Smash that, them. or if you guys Initiate think I should just keep it as is. Deployed. And think that you don't want to see my Why trash face. Which I wouldn't blame you guys for because it is, in fact, trash. There will be a lot of times when in the middle of the battle I won't be speaking a word. And I'm sure you guys understand why by now. That sometimes it takes some concentration while I'm playing. And I get first blood. In a 1v2, and I end up getting the first kill. That is... You have slain an enemy! Thank goodness those minions exist. Okay. If it weren't for minions, I wouldn't have got that last kill. But, you know, minion assists. And I'm gonna die. Because being left alone in a 3v1 is hilarious because that shows that I'm already the biggest threat in this match, according to them. And I can say that with complete honesty because they went out of their way to target me with three people while I was alone. The likelihood is that they requested backup in a 2v1. A 2v1. And they, with the two, were the ones requesting backup. Now, if that isn't absolutely fantastic on my part, I don't know what is. guys like seeing that too like seeing me 
go in alone in a fight and be the one winning. Be the one coming out on top in like 2v1, 3v1 situations. Because that is the power of expert. That, that, and it truly is, it truly is what I said, the power of x is a powerful character. I mean, you just watched me fight that thing and gain so much of my life back in such a small time. That was well played. He got behind me. He got behind me. He does he deserved that kill. And I even give him full credit for it. Akai did well in that the world situation. Of disaster. But He's not going to keep doing that well, because ally has been slain. every time he thinks he's going to do that well, I'm going to unleash Our turret has been destroyed. all kinds of death upon him. I needed some of that health. Harley came at me. Seemingly with a vengeance. Harley came at me strong. Am I scary? Like really strong and it was actually kinda scary. Not gonna lie. Clearly the kind of character that is a counter. Oh, his alt is such a counter to my passive. Because, because I become impervious to damage it, it, once I lose my armor. Or, yeah, the, uh, the Faraga armor is lost and I go to armorless. I roll out the way and become impervious to damage during the roll. But because of his alt and its special thing, it just stays on me while I'm rolling. So once I become impervious to damage again, Okay, this is actually getting annoying. I wish people helped ever. Because being stuck in 3, 4v1s all the time the is extremely annoying. Especially since I haven't built up, like, any of my items yet. What are you looking at? Let me get Athena's shield. Get some more kills, and then yeah, retreat. I'll gladly take it. But I only have 30% spell vamp right now. I am not happy about this bullcrap. <laughs> Our turret is under attack. I mean, Lord, can you blame me? Okay, I'm actually done with this team. Heck. You guys are gonna see that 
I can get very, very annoyed with a specific team. All the odds are now stacked in my favor by a lot. By a lot. Ah, nothing can ever heal me from the wound. Our inhibitor turret is under attack. Oh, goodness. Harley is so annoying. <laughs> Why should I care for anyone else? Harley is so freaking annoying. Our turret is under attack. Our turret has been destroyed. Did he already get back his ult? Shut down. In that period of time. Dude, that's Shut literally spammed kill. his ult. Like, that was maybe 10 seconds. Nobody gets their ult in 10 freaking seconds. That's so crazy stupid. Second cooldown time on somebody's alt. Initiate retreat. I I get so annoyed with people who do that, who will get something to eat in the middle of a match and act like it's perfectly okay. Like you can wait a few minutes. You're in the middle of a freaking match. You have teammates who are depending on you, and you're gonna leave them to grab yourself a snack. Our inhibitor turret is under attack. Killing spree. Of course, one of them had to be Harley, and just like every other time I go into combat, Harley's there doing his. Bull crap. <sighs> you guys are gonna see me rage. Because Harley exists. <laughs> Of course, everybody is right there. And Moskov had to say something about them being AFK, and then he himself becomes AFK. Like, the fact that Moskov is AFK after talking about one of our teammates being AFK An makes me lose all possible respect for him trash team everything and I was doing pretty bad I'm not gonna lie <clears throat> and the thing is I never do bad as export so Not, not my best play. No joke. And people like Kimmy who straight go AFK to get food.
Like the snack can keep me away. Heck yeah, I'm gonna report that. Oh well, I guess you guys get to experience a loss as well this time. But hey, you gotta lose sometimes. It's just how the world works, I guess. I mean, that still doesn't change the fact that I've played 66 matches with him and have a 74.2% win rate. Yeah. I've been dominating. I dominate with him. For the most part. My ranked matches have almost 60% win rate. That, that makes me happy. I've gotten legendary 39 times in total, and in this season alone, 28 of those times. That's amazing. I am happy. Oh well, I guess that's all for this video. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe. You know, you guys make this channel. I wouldn't be here without you. So, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see me play any other heroes, I can't promise I'll be good with them because I'm usually trash. But, uh, yeah, no, until next time. Stay determined.